Hello there and welcome to this exclusive tour of my desk setup as a programmer and YouTuber for maximum productivity. Having a nice desk setup is something that's always been important to me because just having a setup that's inviting, that looks nice and that's clean really actually makes you more productive because it makes you want to go and do work more if your setup is something where you actually feel comfortable and somewhere you want to be working. So let's get into it. It's my keyboard. I use this one. It is the Keychron K6, I believe. I'll leave all the links down below so you can find all of these. It's a nice mechanical keyboard, a really satisfying sound. The only downside, obviously, if there's someone else in an opposite room or something, the sound might get annoying. That hasn't happened to me yet, but it probably will. The other thing I like about this is that it's very compact and small. You know how most keyboards, they're like really big with like a whole bunch of like buttons at the top and there's like a whole section here. I never really use those buttons, so I really wanted to find a keyboard that it does away with the superfluous buttons that I'm never using anyway, which allows me the same more space in the desk and just make the setup a lot cleaner. It is RGB, you can change the different live configurations by clicking this button. Works with Bluetooth. The only downside of this keyboard is that whenever I'm switching between my two computers it sometimes takes time for the bluetooth to like recognize the new computer and it always keeps connecting to the old one and stuff it can be really annoying but other than that i really like this keyboard i'll make a full review on it if you are interested so leave a comment below if you're interested in a review of this or any of the other gear that i talk about then we have my mouse it is the ms master 2s i believe really really awesome mouse is one of the most popular productivity mouses out there it's really ergonomic really fits in your hand really nicely and my favorite part about this is the side wheel or side scroll or whatever this is really great when i'm editing video because it allows me to scroll the timeline while freeing up this other scroll to scroll up and down so if you're editing video i highly highly recommend this one obviously for programming and other stuff it's also really great because it really sits nicely in your hand so charging this is also really simple you can keep using it while you're charging it. It doesn't even need to charge that often. I only charge it like maybe once a month, once every two weeks, something like that. It's really, really handy mouse, really like it. So you might be wondering, am I team Mac or am I team PC? There's a huge debate over, oh, Mac's the best, PC suck. Then the PC guys go like, but you can't even game on the Mac. So because I couldn't decide, I've got both. I've got my MacBook Air 2020, model m1 the m1 is really a game changer if you're considering getting a new laptop i highly recommend specifically one of the m1 models because it just makes them so much more powerful compared to the old ones to so use my macbook for all my programming and all my day-to-day -day internet scrolling bit about anything that i do on a daily basis on a computer because i do prefer the mac operating system so then why do i also have this super fancy super expensive powerful pc well that's for whenever i need a lot of raw power so for, for example when I'm editing these videos is really heavy on the computer and the MacBook Air isn't quite good enough for that. So for video editing, I just needed the most power for the least amount of money because I'm really poor. A PC is much, much better value for money in terms of raw power specifically. For pretty much everything else, I don't really like PC. I just don't really like the Windows operating systems. Uh, so I am pretty much a Mac fanboy, but I still own a PC because I just need the power and the cheaper cost for a lot of the things I'm doing, especially with video. So when I'm using my MacBook on this setup, I connect it using this dongle because Apple are stupid and they removed all the ports from the newest MacBook. So I need to use a dongle to even connect it to this display. It's really annoying, but it is what it is. I am still looking to get a full separate monitor to have a two monitor set up. Or well, actually, you know what I want? I want one of those super fancy white screen monitors. I haven't got one yet. That's probably the first thing I'll be upgrading for my next setup whenever I upgrade my setup. 
Then for sound, I have these speakers. They're really minimalistic, so I really like them. They're not like amazing, but they really complement the setup well and they're very inexpensive, so I really like having them. Usually though, whenever I'm editing video or something where I need sound, or if I'm listening to some like lo-fi stuff when I'm coding, I will use my AirPods Pro, which I got with my MacBook Air when I ordered it from Apple. And you might be asking me right now, where is your case? How do you just have your AirPods without a case on the desk like that? Well, I do use usually have them in the case but I lost it and how that happened don't ask me but it's related to the fact that I'm currently in Finland where it's very snowy and snow is white and the case is white so yeah Anyway, I also have my Kindle because I read a lot of books. Mostly I listen to them as audiobooks from Audible, but whenever I actually want to read something physically, I found that I was accumulating a lot of physical books, which especially when I'm moving a lot, it's really difficult to carry around and stuff. So now I've just got this Kindle. Well, so whenever I'm buying books, I can just buy them here and read them via the Kindle. We also have this nice phone stand over here which I use to charge my phone and because it allows my phone to sit upright like that it first of all looks quite nice and it's also convenient because I can see any notifications and be distracted while I'm working yeah I should probably stop keeping my phone there when I'm working then you might be wondering what the hell is this big ass green book this one is cracking the coding with you if you saw my last video you'll know that i'm currently studying algorithms and data structures and i'm using a couple of different resources for that mainly i'm using zero to masteries data structures and algorithms path which i talked about in my previous video as well it essentially gives you access to thousands of hours of coding classes by this really excellent teacher andre there are over 500 000 students and you might call me biased because i do have an affiliate link down below by the way if you want 10 percent off there's also a discount code down below if you want to access zero to masteries thousands of hours of coding courses so i'll learn the things from zero to masteries really great video courses which are really visual and the experiences are really great but then i'll go on this book and i'll do all the exercises on all of the sections because the way you really learn something is not just by learning it but the way it really gets ingrained in your brain is when you practice it which is when you do a lot of problems so that's what i'm using this for a full review of this and zero to masteries platform is coming very soon so stay tuned for that but if you want to get cracking the coding interview there's also an affiliate link down below as well as again a link to zero to mastery if you want to check that out my monitor is this 27 inch qhd one nothing special but for this size i didn't really see the reason to go to 4k yet the desk itself is just a random desk i don't really even know which one it is one thing i do like is having a really wide desk where there's a lot of room for me to like place items where i don't feel like i'm being cramped that's probably one of the most important parts of a nice setup for me just having a lot of space and then you probably want to know what my chair is like it's just again a really basic one it's not even that good. It's just whatever random one we happen to have at home. This is definitely also on the list of the things that I need to upgrade next. And then decorating the walls, we have some nice pictures taken by the amazing photographer that is me. Yes, that's right. All of these pictures on the wall have been taken by myself. I used to do a lot of photography, especially when I was in London. So I just like having my own photography on the walls because I am egoistic as hell. And also because it's cheaper that way. Some of the stuff I have are these headphones, which I use with my PC. So whenever I'm editing video, I'll usually use these headphones. I don't know if they're like the best or anything. This is like really old ones that I bought back when I was gaming. Link will be down below if I can even find it anymore. And then if you're curious about my gear for filmmaking, my main camera, which you're watching right now, is the Sony a7 III, which is currently sitting on this Vanguard tripod. For my sound, I use the Rode VideoMic NTG. It's one of their new models. I believe it's the best one they have. The lens that's sitting on my camera right now is a Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter. The other lens I have is the 28 to 75 millimeter, which I sometimes use as well. I also use this Gorilla Pod whenever I wanna have my camera standing a bit lower, or if I wanna use it as a case in my stand like vlogging kind of setup and then for all the b-roll clips that you've been seeing throughout this video i used this Ronin sc gimbal it's really an excellent gimbal for only like 200 something dollars highly highly recommend this one if you're looking to get a gimbal to get some nice video footage last but definitely not least we have a water bottle from deloitte flex it allows me to drink exactly two liters of water each day to ensure maximum productivity. 
stay hydrated, people. So that's pretty much what my desk setup looks like. Quite basic, not too much to it. The next things I definitely want to upgrade is to get a bigger monitor, probably one of those ultra wide ones, because especially when I'm video editing and even programming, I always need to have like two things. I need to be copying things from one to the other. So this one monitor with like the laptop screen really isn't cutting it anymore. But the reason I'm not upgrading yet is because I'm going to be moving to London to start my job in September because currently I'm doing a gap year so I've been living back home here in Finland but I'm moving back to London soon so I don't want to have to like buy a massive monitor and then like move it overseas to the UK but once I do you'll be seeing an updated version of this setup in my new London apartment so you'll have that to look forward to so that was my desk setup I'll have a lot of reviews coming out of my keyboard of my mouse and like all the things that I'm using let me know in the comments which reviews you want to see next i don't even know if you're interested in this kind of video so if you're not then let me know that as well but once i do have some reviews of all the gear that i'm using they will be listed here that you can click on so go watch one of these videos next